What's up guys, this is Ferdin here. This is a little Photoshop and sort of After Effects um, tut on how to create a loading effect um, with HUDs and that. Um, this is what i done. So if you have Photoshop, just go into new 12 8 by 720 and that. Just Alright, what I've done is I just got a solid black background. I added a new layer, another solid black background. I go into pattern overlay and you get this pattern. Um, I don't know if you, yours don't have it, but you can find them on the internet. I can't remember exactly where I got it from. That's why I haven't got many because I don't know how to get them. But yeah, you just size that right down to say, I don't know, 39. That looks good. Just so they're really small. Go to color overlay, set that to black, and go to soft light. Check OK, and bring the opacity of this top layer to about 30. So it just makes it nice dark. And then you just want to save that. I recommend a PNG. And then we can come out of Photoshop. Open up After Effects. Right, if we make a new composition, 12, 8, 7, 20, 30, and I'll just do 4 seconds. Um, we can import that into the background. may look a bit funny, but when it goes full resolution, it will look fine. We'll just do half. So first of all, we want to select a sort of sort of add a circle, as you'll see why, but um, I put 720 by 720 and the color code is 476E3E. Um, that was a nice green that I used previously. And what you want to do is just put that in a circle, duplicate the mask, subtract it, um, bring the expansion to about minus 30, and then size it down. To, uh, I think 40 is a good size and you just want to bring the expansion in a bit more uh, we'll just do 90 minus 90 ok that looks pretty nice and then what we want to do now is just sort of mask out sort of this area just do it roughly for a start and we'll add the third mask as subtract and I think you can see what kind of shape I am making. Um, and then add that out a bit more, maybe this out a bit more. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. Near enough the same. All we want to do now is just hit R, click the rotation. Go to the end, and I'm just going to rotate that four times. And if I just quickly render this out, you can see it's just nice. It's not too fast, not too slow. And if you want to make it a little bit better, if you click on this little button here, enable motion blur, and then this one, as you can see, it starts blurring out the edges. And you'll see it sort of has a nice blur to it, which makes it a lot better as well. Um, just another little, make it a little bit better, what I've done is I duplicate it, click R, and you start off at 90 degrees then go to the end and finish at 490 just so we've sort of just added another 90 degrees onto it um, I want to go to Blur and Sharpen, Box Blur hit it up to about 70 and then hit the opacity down to about 30 um, we'll, start, we'll do 30, so once you rotate it It has an also like a, a blur as well, but um, I forgot to add stylized glow. Um, we'll go to alpha channel, uh, alpha channel, and as you can see, it's now coming off the edges. Color channel sort of does the glow within the object. Alpha is on the outside. Um, so what you want to do then is pick a green color. 
Um, maybe hit the radius out a bit. Oh, um, and hit on top. Um, I don't know. We'll do. We'll use that. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's, that'd be about right. Maybe hit this to white as well. Mm, bring the intensity down a bit. Okay, so I think that looks alright. Let's just see what it looks like without. Yeah, it looks a lot better. And if you just copy and paste that onto the other one, just, you know, makes it look nice. So we've got the spinning sort of circles here. What you want to do is you want to add some text, maybe put load in, and the text is already there. I I use the um, text quartz. Um, you can get that off the internet, the font or whatever, websites, you know. So what you want to do is shove that in the center. See if that fits in. So like, okay, so that will need to be sized down, just make it like nice and okay, that I think will do. Add another glow on that. This time we'll do a nice orangey colour. And then original colours to AB colours. Maybe bring the intensity up a bit. Now you can do how much you want on there, but I usually keep it about two-ish. Because there's a, a difference. But once you look at it, you think that hadn't really changed. But now we've got the text in. And that's spinning. I think that looks pretty nice. If you wanted to, you can shorten these up a bit, actually. If you didn't really want them to be... Oops. Obviously, they do have the blur on. Oh my god. Right there. And there. So, just make them a bit smaller. Depends on what you want. Maybe the opacity of the other one can come down a bit. Maybe hit that to 20. Or maybe adjust the blur, just just make it look nice and better. But I think that looks sort of an alright loading screen. Um, whoever requested it, um, I hope this sort of looks similar to the one that was in that video. Um, so I think that's pretty much all we can add. Unless you wanted to add a bit of twitch, which I don't know how that would look, but if we just have a little test. Um, add twitch, go to enable slide uh, operate uh, controls slide here the RGB split to a hundred oh, oh dear too much um, amount to say 20 no not even that um, speed okay we'll do two oh, that looks right now two and five amount to speed five if we go on with this, okay, now maybe bring the speed down to about two as well. And now you've got sort of like a, a twitchy effect going on with the loading screen, but that depends on what you're sort of doing with it. But, you know, go and do, you know, you can go test and do other shit with it. So, yeah, that's sort of how you make it background, spin, motion blur, text. It's not really that hard, to be fair. Um, but you know, you'd pick all that up if you're new to like all this stuff. After you do it a few times, you just get the hang of it. So um, that pl the second part of that explained plosion tutorial, it, it still is coming. Um, I'm still having trouble recording it and that. Let's do my head in. But I, I'm good. I'll do that. I got a Pavlo animation pack coming soon so you know you can there, there will be cinema 4d files and are going to be solid videos but all you have to do is go in and render it add your cameras 
the animation is already done, so you won't have to worry about that. Just in case you have a bit of trouble doing, you know, animating in Cinema 4D. So those videos are ready to come out. The um, M40A3 Girls Team Towers trailer, which I'm doing, um, that will that'll be out in the few day, in the next few days probably. Um, I might get it done today. Might get it done tomorrow. Um, all depends in like how long the project takes for the rest of it. Like the bits I'm doing, I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just going to upload it. All I'm going to say is it's. I tried a di like I'm doing a different style. Um, I'm tried hardcore edit this time, so we'll see how that turned out. So that'll be out in a few days. So you better go check that out. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say. So, like and comment on this video if it helped. Comment if you want any more tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.